megaphones help us send our voices up into the crowd. They gather sound waves and send them in one direction. To, to send you sound, we use these cones. It hits your ears and shakes the phone. Inertia is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. Sound. The audience is listening. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, startled me. Didn't mean to yell there. <clears throat> but we're going to do some yelling today because today's show is about sound. Oh, man, man. It's out of, it's out of hand here. Here, better put these on. Sound is just tiny movements of air, tiny vibrations in the air. The air moves in tiny waves that reach our ears, and then we hear sound. I'll tell you what, you guys, you're going to have to cool it. Uh, everybody's here now. Oh, you can take these off. Yeah, thanks. Take a look at this. This is our cardboard simulated ear of science. Now, take a look. In here is a microphone, and the microphone receives sounds. And the microphone is connected to this. It's our oscilloscope of science. Now, an oscilloscope is something that lets us scope, that lets us see waves. An oscilloscope. OK, now watch. When I make vibrations in the air, when I make sounds in the air, they show up as vibrations, as waves on the oscilloscope. Watch. See the waves? Isn't that cool? Now, in a sense, there's no difference between the sound waves made that go into this microphone and the waves that show up on the oscilloscope. Now, look at the ear. You see how it's cup-shaped? That way, it focuses the sound. Now, our ear is the same way. It's a specialized structure designed to receive sound so that we can hear them. Isn't that cool? I mean, uh, cool. a metal fence. Then have a friend go to the other end and tap on it. You can hear the sound through the fence ear before your other ear. Sound travels 18 times faster through metal than it does air. It sounds! Here's another cool experiment. Put your ear up against a brick building. Now have a friend go around the corner and tap real softly. You can hear the tapping through the bricks. Sound travels faster through bricks, too. It's science. It, 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 sound. Science. Sound. Science. Sound. Science. Sound. Science. 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 Sound. Science. Sound. Science. Sound. Science. Sound. Science. Science! Sound! Sibilance, check. One, two. Check. One, two. Sibilance, check. Oh, yeah. Here, here's a problem. Check. One, two. Check. Sibilance, check. Check. the top. So Adam is uh, getting our headphone mixed together so we can go out there and track our hit single kickstand. With Soundgarden we are we're using 48 tracks where you can put uh, each instrument on its own track. 
you can um, isolate individual instruments on the, on the tape um, by soloing them up on the board on a drum. This is the snare drum. Um, if you want a little more high-end uh, treble to it, it's like on your stereo system at home. You just bring up the high-end. If it needs to be a little more mid-range or a little more bass until you get it just right. And you put it back in the track and listen to it. And you decide if that's good or not. You can do a guitar. You can do a vocal. Come stand me up. Anything you want. Oh, you can add effect to the vocal. This is a hey. doubling effect. Yeah, you gotta choose to fill my cup. Huh? When, it's all, when it's all done, it, it ends up being on your CD. Slinkies are perfect for showing how sound waves travel through the air. No kidding. Take a look at this. Watch. See how the spring squeezes together and then spreads apart? Well, the same thing happens in air with air molecules. The sound waves make the air molecules squeeze together. And the squeeze together air molecules travel through the air like a wave just like the wave in the slinky. It works like this. Think of these air hockey pucks as air molecules. When a sound is made, they bump into each other. Like this, you ready? Hey! Hey! See that? The wave zips right through them, even though the individual pucks or the individual molecules stay pretty still. Now, what happens when the wave hits this wooden barrier? bounces back, right? And so what happens to a sound wave when it hits something and, and bounces back? Oh, that's an echo! That's an echo! That's an echo! Watch. I mean, uh, listen. Echo! Echo! That's an echo. Now, think about it. It means that some of the sound waves from the echo must be passing right through some of the sound waves from the yell. Because one's coming back this way, the other's going out that way. But for sound waves, passing through each other is no problem. Sound waves often reflect off round surface as well. Uh, listen. Sound waves! This is what happens when you hear things. Sound waves enter the ear canal, which makes them smaller, and moves them along to the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates, which moves tiny bones in the middle ear. The bones pound on the seashell-shaped inner ear. Here, sound travels as waves in a fluid. The waves hit tiny hairs, which send signals to the brain. The brain filters and processes the signals, so you know what you're listening to. This all takes place in a hundredth of a second. Hey, can you hear me? Of course you can. That's because the sound of my voice is coming through your TV set and into your ears. See, when I talk, my vocal cords cause their TV speakers to vibrate back and forth. That makes the air around your TV speakers jiggle and then vibrate your eardrum. You can make a model of your eardrum at home. All you need to do is stretch some plastic wrap over a bowl, strap it with a rubber band, and there you go. It looks like an eardrum. Now, whenever I make a noise here in the lab, the eardrum vibrates. I'll use some salt to help you see what's going on. Now, I'm not touching the eardrum at all, but when I hit this pot, 
vibrations in the eardrum cause the cell to bounce up and down. So anytime you hear pots clanging, or your teacher talking, or Janet Jackson singing, it's because the air is moving and vibrating your eardrums. Then your eardrums send a message to your brain to let you know what you heard. What? It's sound, it's science, and it's loud! Low sound. Low sound. Middle sound. Low sound. Science. What do you think of when you think of a wave? sorts of waves. A wave is an undulation or a succession of rippling movements and a frequency is how often it passes over a certain point. Now this is a pretty average frequency but if I were to see my mother I would increase the frequency. <gasps> there she is now! Hi mom! Oh brother. See? Increased frequency. Sound waves are like other waves. And with sound, a faster wave results in a higher frequency, which makes for a higher pitch. And if I were to lower my voice, well. Its waves would be slower. Lower frequency and lower pitch. And so, the next time you hear things, it's sound waving at you. Bye-bye now. Showers are great places for sound. The hard surfaces make your voice sound richer and fuller. That's why people like to sing in the shower. Epidermis! Epidermis! Besides tingling, you're so <laughs> New from Swell Time Records, one of the most beloved performers in recording history. The incomparable Leonard Cracker Wagon. Known throughout the world as Mr. Sound Effects. He has performed more sound effects than Elvis and the Beatles combined. Ooh. Here is an album you'll listen to again and again. You get popping tires, grunting pig, siren wailing, stub toe, barking dog, Door creaking, wind blowing, hands ripping, and the international favorite, gargling. Plus, you get hundreds more. You'll thrill as Mr. Sound Effects creates great moments from motion picture history. The Poseidon Adventure, The Boston Strangler, Robin Hood, The Towering Inferno, and Treasure Island. Order now to receive all my best, the brilliant sounds of Mr. Sound Effects. Leonard Cracker Wagon, you won't believe your ears. Try this. Take a piece of paper and roll it into a tube. Tape it so it won't come apart. Hold it up to your ear and have someone else make sounds, like gently tapping two spoons together. This side. Right? This side. Uh-huh. This side. Nope, it was right over your head. Isn't that wild? Sure is. Here's actually time sound. That's right. In order to figure out which direction sounds are coming from, we time them when the sound arrives at our left and right ear. With the tube in place, the sound has to travel a longer distance to reach this ear than this ear, and we can't quite tell where it's coming from. This side. Yep. This side. Yep. Oh, uh, that was on top.
Why do sound waves need air? How do sonic booms affect people, plants, and cheese? Ear bones are shaped like a hammer, an anvil, and a stirrup. What's up with that? Where's my other sock? L. John Hummer's Vibonetics. Unleash the power of sound in you. I'm Dr. Han Nghiem, and I am a radiologist. I work with ultrasound. See this little gadget right here, which we call a microphone? It's actually sending echoes or sounds, but you can't hear anything because they are ultrasound. And with science, the machine turned the echoes into pictures. We can see the babies right here. White stick right there, that's one of the baby's leg bone right there. Again, using sound, take a look at the blood flow in the baby's heart. See this color blue and uh, red? Yeah. Right there, that's just showing the blood flow in the baby's heart. Dina, look at the baby's hand. It's waving goodbye right here. Bye, baby. Bye-bye, <laughs> baby. That's a nice shot of the hand. Your ears are designed to hear things. They collect sounds and focus them so that they hit your eardrum. Uh, this dish does the same thing. It also focuses sounds. Now listen. What I whisper here, the sound is collected and sent straight in that direction. Then I can hear it over here because this dish collects all the spread out sounds and sent it by ear. Cool. Very cool. Extremely cool. Very extremely cool. What? You're listening to KNHC Seattle. I'm Keith Winters with the latest C89 News. C89 FM, Liz Daniels stepping in, opening up those request lines for you. Give me a call, let me know what you want to hear. Hello? Yeah. Um, can you play Janet Jackson, if? Yeah, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. The students are on the air, the students do the news, the students do all the production. The students do everything. One of the reasons why I picked this school is because of the radio station, because I wanted to be part of the radio program. It's fun to work here. I like it a lot. You actually get to play the music and people out there actually listening to you. You know, it's pretty cool. Well, when we broadcast from the studios, we talk into the mic. Then from the mic, it gets sent up to the roof. From the roof, it's sent to the transmitter. And then it goes out to tens of thousands of people. So that's pretty much it. When you strike a piano key, you set the piano strings vibrating, kind of like when you do this. Now, when the strings vibrate, they vibrate at something called their natural frequency. That's the frequency they want to vibrate at naturally. Now, when the strings are vibrating, they set air molecules vibrating, and then we hear that as sound. But it works the other way, too. If you set the air molecules vibrating, the strings will vibrate at their natural frequency. Listen. Okay. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? Uh-huh. Anyway, that's called resonance. We say the strings resonate at their natural frequency. Now, a lot of things have a natural frequency. This drives some adults crazy. I think it's cool, though. Anyway, the wine glass is vibrating at its natural frequency. You're saying, now, could we sing so we can break the glass like on TV? Well, yeah, you can. You have to sing at the glass's natural frequency, and you have to sing loud enough with enough energy to make the glass break. OK. <sighs> ah! Ah! are specialized structures designed to receive sound. Rubber ears are specialized structures designed to get laughs. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a little too close. Well, thanks for watching and uh, listening. See ya! See ya! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. You want me to act, in other words. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, Adam, let's, uh, let's keep that one and try one more. Acting! From the top. I'm an actor. <laughs> okay.